Hello again, YouTube from Turbo Cave. Today we have this Mercedes OM651 turbo upgrade done. And I want to point out a few things that I've noticed in YouTube and on eBay and all those e-commerce sites. There are a couple of um, vendors that are selling upgraded billet stage one turbo upgrade for the om651 twin turbo don't fall for that they they say it's standard size billet compressor wheel upgrade and yada yada, yada what, whatever else uh, first of all the most important upgrade for this turbo setup is the turbine side because all of the exhaust gases from both turbos need to pass the low pressure turbo exhaust housing and on stock form the stock turbine wheel looks like this it's very restrictive as you can see the wheel gaps are pretty small this is done for the reason of the EGR flow and the stock emission standards. You need enough EGR to pass the emissions. And this, this in effect is making on full boost very high exhaust manifold pressure as the exhaust cannot go past the turbine quick enough and the waste gate is very small also because they don't the OEM don't want to lower the exhaust pressure because they need one atmosphere one bar more exhaust pressure in the manifold than you have boost pressure in the intake because they want exhaust flow and today's emission standards, they want a lot of it. And the reason, reason for the upgrades that I'm talking, they up, some of the sellers are upgrading the compressor side for a bigger one, but they use the standard exhaust turbine side. So it's, it's pointless. The compressor is big enough for around 260, 270 horsepower uh, about but the turbine side is is it's it's very restrictive so that's why i i go i went went with the, let me take a lamp i went with the bigger turbine wheel it's two millimeters bigger because that's the biggest one i can fit into the housing and it's a nine blade high flow lightweight design so this turbine wheel should be capable of around 350 almost to 400 ho horsepower on the crank on the flow but the engine has more restrictions than that the high pressure pump is good for around 300 max after that it it needs to be upgraded and there's no upgraded pump available available at this time and on the compressor side i went with with one more blade it's a seven blade design so we can get a better flow and it's almost four millimeters bigger than the standard one made from billet forged billet and yeah this should be a good combination because the um, the axial forces on the turbine and the compressor are about the same on the same pressures so there's not not too much actual actual load on the actual bearings 
and sorry I'm rambling on and getting back to the so-called upgrades you can buy standard size this is the standard compressor wheel that comes on these Mercedes at least this is in Europe I don't know what you have in America but they should be the same as you can see this is a billet forged billet wheel so if you're getting an so-called upgrade and they're saying that they've upgraded the wheel for a billet one most likely this is just my guessing all they have done is colored one of these wheels red cleaned it up and that's it and all you're getting is a standard turbine standard turbo with no upgrades this is the standard Bork and Warner compressor wheel. This is not an aftermarket wheel. This has this came from this turbo as I disassemble it and put on the bigger compressor. And as you can see, the high pressure side, the smaller turbo, also has billet wheel as standard. So don't go buying a so-called upgraded turbo with billet wheels when your stock turbo has billet wheels. That's just a waste of money and 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 to be honest, you, you're just getting scammed. And probably you need to send your turbo there as a core exchange and you're getting a stock turbo back. So what's the point in that if your stock turbo is okay? Don't do it. It's not smart. But yeah, I'll be installing this into my car and making a new program for it. When I have the time, I don't know when. I'm pretty busy at the moment. I have, I have all, all sorts of jobs to do. And this is my hobby project. And I do this on my spare time. So... I don't know if I'm going to be making any of these modifications for sale. I don't know. If there's enough market for these and and if after testing I found out it is good and working, then then maybe. But don't don't get your hopes up. Ask your local turbo guy if he can make similar similar changes to your turbo bigger compressor wheel and and the most important the turbine but yeah this is just something i wanted to share with you people and if you have any questions put them down below and you all stay safe and have a nice day bye